Field House is truly a, a special place. It um, and you hear it when you talk to the other coaches. You hear it when you talk to people on the road, and you know, there's three thousand plus people in there. It's a lot of fun. It's loud. The horns blare, and the music's going. And it is a plus one factor for our team. The field house is a great place to play. Students is cheering, banging on the glass behind us, and that just gives us another wave of excitement and wanting to keep driving and things in the game are not going well and um, just a really special place. Traditions at RPI are, are everywhere and I've got a couple favorites. Um, the Mayor's Cup game is tremendous because of the exposure it brings to the whole capital region. Um, the blackout game has been combined with campus family weekend recently so we've had sellouts against crosstown rival union um, freak out is an awesome tradition but my favorite tradition is when after every victory the guys put their arms around each other and they sing at the top of their lungs hail to thee and we've had family in there we've had president schmidt in there and that's my favorite tradition in the locker room area, we have a really neat section that has the history of every number that's been worn from 1950, I believe, on. And the players walk by that, and I see them when they go out for practice or out for a game. They often just touch their number. And uh, I think that's a great connection to the history. We walk all of our prospects through that experience as well so that they understand. And I asked the prospects, what number would you like to wear here? What number can you see yourself wearing? I said, well, let's look and see who wore this number on the 85 team. So um, it's a really important piece of our recruiting, but also our day-to-day -day operations. I chose RPI on the strong academics that RPI holds, as well as the hockey program. At the time, all RPI hockey was on the trajectory of uprise, and I saw with Coach Smith and our other coaches the really a bright future that RPI hockey has, and I just wanted to be a part of that. What makes it so special is how competitive it is, as anyone in the league can win, no matter what scene they are in the league. Anyone can win each and every night. My relationship with the community is, is critical. They're the people that come and support. They're the people that create the atmosphere with the students. And they're the ones that want to know the players. And we know they're watching. We know they care. And we know they want to see a winner. So the more that we can do in the community, whether it's a charity downtown where we go every Thursday night to help, whether it's a youth hockey in Troy. We have like about four guys each week uh, go to Sidewalk Ward, which is downtown Troy, and just help out to give back to the less fortunate. Our presence in the community is one way of giving back, but what they give us is so much more than we could ever give them. Coming in, you always hear alumni talk about how tight-knit RPI is. Everyone here cares so much about hockey and, and the school, and I just feel like with RPI, it's just a big family.